There you too may ask him a question and get to know the original Batman. Yeah, this is a version of the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> TV show of the last two decades. Recently published in an entertaining memoir of TV's Batman by the Cage Crusader himself, Back to the Batcave. For dedicated fans everywhere, he will always be the true Batman. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have him with us here today to give you the opportunity to meet him and to ask a question. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the original Batman himself, Adam West. song going there. Yeah, you know, a woman walked up to me on the street a few minutes ago, and I was just told a story backstage about uh, a wonderful birthday party at White Castle, where this fellow who handles our sound grew up, and his best memory was watching Batman at his birthday party with his little pals at White Castle. I thought it was really sweet, you know? And, but a woman walked up to me a, a little while ago, and she slapped me. And I said, why did you do that? She said, because my mommy toilet trained me with you. <laughs> you hear the darndest thing? I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, I had to, you know what, until I did my whatever, and then I could watch Batman, and only then. <laughs> I tell you, people come up to me with the darndest stories, Patrick, and that's why I wrote the book. Isn't that a shameless plug? <laughs> we got into that. Back to the Batcave. Yeah. I have a copy of it myself that I'd like to have you maybe sign on. Of course I will. It's yeah. ten bucks. I, I want it. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you all how this works. Uh, we are here to, for your benefit. If you would like to ask Adam a question, just put your hands up. We've got two people out there in the house to bring down a microphone to you. And uh, we'll be able to have Adam ask any questions that we might be able to get time for. Adam, if you'd like to have a seat, you're welcome to. If Thank you like very to much. Is that Paul out here with the mic? Okay. Yeah. Um, now, I have to admit that I could probably fill this whole thing up with my questions alone. Now, you did the series in 1966 and 7, right? We went on mid-season, 66, 67. That was a long time ago. <laughs> and then we went off uh, uh, late in 69. Late in 69, okay. How many episodes total were there? Because we said every single day. Let's see, there was, uh, would you count it with me? Oh, no. Let's man. see, there was that thing with Mr. Freeze. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Mad Hatter. 120 of them. We'll get There's only 120, so this, only, this should only take an hour and a half. We did 120 segments of Batman. Uh, remember, we were on twice a week in color, and uh, with a cliffhanger, you know, in between. I was caught in the giant ice cream cone or whatever. And, and then it was on again the next day? Uh, the next day or a day later. We changed schedule uh, partway through, yeah. Yeah, forgive me, I, I hadn't been born yet when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a young man, though. So I young. But I, I've met Burt Ward several times. Have you, you really? keep up with him? Uh, Burt Ward, who played Robin, uh, we very seldom get together to talk because uh, I live in the mountains in Idaho, and he lives uh, somewhere in Southern California, and we just have other interests. I have a large family, and I'm very involved with them, and, and I travel a lot when I work. And You know, it's a funny thing. When you do a television series, you don't really see uh, that much of people socially or afterward. Because you're together, Lord knows you're together 18, 19 hours a day sometimes, and I'm sure they get a little sick of looking at me, you know. Um, so, what about, uh, I saw, I think it was the uh, Emmy Awards, maybe it was the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, did you all make an appearance there together? Uh, we've done it all. You've done it all. When was the last time you got together with the old cast, like Batgirl and the Commissioner? About uh, six months ago. Do you know Vicky, the show Vicky? Yeah. Vicky Lawrence? We did that show. We had a reunion with Bob That's Kane, right. the creator. Julie Newmar, who played Catwoman. Uh, uh, Frank Gorshin, who played Riddler. So we had we got together one with Vicky, yeah. What about, um, now you... Have you even been offered an opportunity to go into the new movies 
With the, the, the Michael Keaton side? Or? What new movies? <laughs> the Batman movies. Or, or they're making some new movies? Yeah, they're thinking about it. Uh, I heard that they had this guy named Michael Keaton I was thinking about doing it. He's a good actor. Uh, he's going to do Batman? Or yeah, I hear. Actually, Val Kilmer is going to do the new one. That makes me feel terrible. I, what's happening here is uh, I have not been asked to do them at all because they have a different vision than we had. And uh, we did our show our way, and they want to do their stuff their way. It's that simple. Well, is the uh, Tim Burton vision a little bit more towards the comic book, and you're a little bit more towards the, the Lampoon version of Batman? Well, absolutely. Their version is, is more toward the new uh, graphic novels, uh, sinister, violent, uh, kind of dark, gothic kind of thing. And ours is uh, more lighthearted, and I think family-friendly and spirited and, and uh, like that. You'll notice in the toy stores, um, even the Warner stores in New York and other places, that most of the merchandising is based on our, you know, likenesses and, and the things from our show rather than the new one, which kind of tells you something. I have an original Batman doll from back when you had, when you did the series. Hold on to it, it's valuable. Yeah, I, my brother has Robin somewhere. I want to But only if I hands. sign it. Patrick. <laughs> oh no, it's in Iowa. It would be nice to be today, Patrick. Yeah. Right down here we have a question. Yes, my children and I are very collectors of back then. Uh, as heinous as they were. Uh, Julie Newmar, because Julie set the tone for it, she was the first Catwoman. And I uh, did it, uh, played the role with her more than anyone else. Eartha Kitt was wonderful as our black cat woman and Leanne Merriweather in her Batman movie. I think Julie, because she was there first and I worked with her more often. Of the villains in, in Total, who, who was your favorite villain to work with? A cat woman? <laughs> okay, besides cat woman. Well, I, I loved uh, Frank Gorshin's Riddler yeah. a lot. And uh, it had that sort of neurotic edge to it. And he would, Frank's crazy anyway. We had good times together. I have, I tell a lot of stories about Frank in the book. Uh, we have a question up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he... Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> now he's embarrassed, too. <laughs> That's very discerning of you. What's his name? Steve. 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 Oh, how, how do you do? All right. <laughs> we have another question right here in the front end. Hi. Um, I heard that Burke World was a little bit obnoxious during the, uh, the, the shooting uh, of the original TV show. Uh, any comments? Well, you know, I'll never really ever uh, talk again. Yes. No. I won't really talk uh, against people because Bert and I on stage, the combination was great, the chemistry was wonderful. Now, you got to remember, when you hear those stories, that Bert was very young when he started. And suddenly, this show became the focus of the country, you know, on the cover of Life, and Look, and on and on. And Bert had all of this stuff uh, going on. It was really tough for a young guy, you know. It was tough for me. Was that the first thing that Bert had done? Uh, well, that's another thing. It was pretty much the first thing he ever did. Yeah. You were, you were a seasoned veteran of the stage and screen. Veteran. Well, I was about 12, but I, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I'd done a few other things. I'd been under contract at Warner's and, and uh, done a few movies and this and that, yeah. Or, or whoever's doing Batman now, it's a little bit too much for him, right? I mean, he needs some help, so he discovers that he's got an uncle who's a criminologist in a university or something, right? And he gets to him, and so we join forces. And I say, yes, I did wear the old Batman costume. I did fight crime. Sometimes when your father couldn't, you know, whatever. Yeah, that might work. Uncle Batman. I'm too old. That'd be fantastic. I'd love to see that. I'd like to take it. How about you folks? You bet. Yeah, we have another one right here. Respectively. You want to win a, uh, win a lot of money in a Batman trivia contest, a game at home or something? Do you? Make a bet on this one. Who played... The Batman villain, False Face. Anybody know? It's in my book. But, <laughs> but uh, we never billed him, never said his name in the credits or anything else. 
because it was like typical Batman stuff. We figured, eh, false face. He was pretty disappointed. The actor, he moved to New York. But then the joke is he became a very famous voiceover guy, making a lot of money. But nobody, usually nobody, knows who played false face. Want to make some money? Want me to tell you? Thank you. 